In this video, I'll be reviewing and discussing the Flamingo's Favorite Jumper from Made With Love by Tom Daly. What comes with the kits? What skills are involved? Who is this kit for? Is it worth the price tag? Stay tuned and find out. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Cletus and I aim to bring you guys fun, informative and entertaining videos all about knitting. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and ring the bell notification and you can follow me over on Instagram at Cletus Tries Knitting. British diver and Olympic medalist Tom Daly started his own yarn and knitting company. I chose the Flamingo's favorite jumper and I chose the size medium and that came with eight balls of the main color yarn and five half balls of the accent colors. The kit also included two sets of wooden straight needles, a wide-eyed darning needle, the pattern booklet, a tension gauge, and it's all wrapped up in this beautiful tote bag. So what is this pattern and who is it for? This sweater is a fun statement piece that uses chunky merino wool to create this oversized and dramatic effect. The pattern also features this fun flamingo intarsia design accented with these fluffs. Although on the website this is classified as an intermediate piece, I do think it's very doable for beginners. That's because the chunky wool knits up super fast. I managed to knit this whole sweater in six days. And you can see every stitch very, very clearly. So I think it's an excellent learning tool for all beginners out there. You also don't need the level of dexterity in your fingers than let's say, you know, knitting with lace wool or cobweb wool. There also isn't any advanced neck, shoulder or sleeve shaping involved, like short rows or a lot of increases and decreases. So this makes it very, very beginner friendly. As you can see here, the sleeves puff out very dramatically from the ribbing. And that's because all the increases are done on the very first row of white here. The rest is just knitting stockinette stitch straight up. Although it doesn't feature any advanced techniques, the design and overall outcome is super, super trendy at the moment. This oversized, comfy, fluffy sweater is so in right now and I am in love with it and I've been looking for something like this. Now let's talk about the wool. The yarn is 100% merino wool in chunky and is untwisted. In layman's terms, it just means it's really, really thick, soft and fluffy. 100% merino means it is all natural fibers derived from a sheep, which keeps you so, so warm. Due to the untwisted nature of this yarn, the sweater is super, super fluffy, but that means it does shed. So top tip, if you're gonna use one of their kits, do not knit with black clothing on. Trust me, you will be spending so much time rolling off all the fluff. One of the downsides of using this trendy, fluffy yarn is that sometimes the integrity starts to break if you undo your knitting or in my case, when I was seaming and ripping it out repeatedly, the yarn did begin to break. But that was an easy fix by just twisting the yarn a couple times and we're good to go. And don't worry, your sweater will not fall apart once it's complete. This yarn is also produced and spun in the UK with UK sheep. So if you're buying from the UK, you are shopping local and there is very little carbon footprint involved. Overall, I love the effect that this yarn produced and both the texture, the size and the colors are all super, super in right now. Now let's talk about the rest of the kits. So I've bought two other kits in my life before, one from We Are Knitters and one from Stephen West. The West Knits kits just come with the yarn and a code to exchange a pattern online. The We Are Knitters kits are more similar to these Tom Daly kits. In fact, they do have a collaboration going on at the moment. However, We Are Knitters does give you the option to opt out of buying the needles. If you are a more experienced knitter and you have a collection of needles at home that you know you like and you love to use, then that is one downside of buying this kit. I personally like knitting with circular needles made out of metal. That's because it gives it more glide and I can knit faster with it. But wooden needles are excellent for beginners because it provides more grip and there is less chance for your project just slipping off your needles. Wooden needles also tend to start warping and bending the more you use it, especially if your project is heavy like this sweater. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but this needle is definitely bending this way a little bit. But that's just a general issue with all wooden needles and not specific to this kit. The kit also gives you a wide eye darning needle. This is used to seam the pieces together when you're done knitting. I'm not sure if there was a mistake in packaging or if I'm just a bit silly and I can't figure it out, but I couldn't for the life of me get this thick yarn through the hole of that darning needle. But luckily I had my own thick wide eyed needle and it worked perfectly just fine. So that is something to keep in mind. What I love about this kit is that it also comes with this awesome environmentally friendly tote bag. If you're a knitting addict, you already know you always want to have your knitting with you on the bus, in a cafe, in a restaurant, so you can always easily access it and knit wherever you go. So this bag is perfect for that. Also, on their website, they actually are selling these tote bags. Granted, they do have some more design and writing on it, 
but they're selling it for 24 pounds. So the fact that you get one with your order and it does say Made With Love by Tom Daly at the bottom is such a pleasant surprise. Next, let's talk about the skills needed to complete this project. Cast on, knit, purl, changing colors, knit front back, knit or purl two together, slip slip knit, intarsia, picking up stitches, seaming and binding off. Most of these skills are super, super basic, but the two things that might trip up a beginner knitter is the intarsia, which is a technique that is used to make this beautiful flamingo design and picking up stitches around the collar here. I've never knit intarsia before, so I did have to teach myself online. I did see some people post on Instagram that their kit came with a how to knit guide. Mine didn't. I'm not sure if that's because my kit is technically intermediate, but it's very, very doable. And this is my first project in seven months. So if I can do it, I think all of you guys can too. So how much did I pay for all of this? The kit for a medium sweater is 125 pounds. Since I'm living in Vienna, I also had to pay 14.99 for shipping and 38.30 for import tax. So that is something for you to keep in mind if you are shopping internationally. Now time for my final thoughts. Overall, I had a great time with this project. It's a great conversation starter. It's very eye-catching. It's a great piece to learn how to knit a sweater and the warmth it provides is unparalleled. It's like wearing a blanket. <laughs> I also love how environmentally conscious this company is. Everything in this kit from the labels of the yarn, the pattern booklet, the packaging is all 100% recyclable. I also really really enjoy how for the accent colors on the cuffs and on the bottom of the sweater came in 50 gram balls which means you won't be left with a lot of scrap yarn that you don't really know what you're gonna do with and potentially driving up the price. The yarn they provide is more than enough to knit the sweater. I do have some leftover and I think I'm gonna make an accompanying hat with it. The design is for sure original. From a really quick search on Ravelry, yes, there are a handful of flamingo designs, but none of them feature these brightly colored cuffs, the oversized nature, the fluffs on the flamingo. So overall, I do believe it's very original and unlike anything I've seen before. Now let's move on to some things I didn't enjoy as much in the kit. The price, the price is for sure one of them. But I actually think that's because I might not be their main target audience because I've knitted sweaters before, I've knitted advanced sweaters using advanced techniques, I know what I like, I have my needles, I can go online, find a pattern that I like and then pair my own yarn. So overall, I I'm always seeking something to challenge me. And although I did learn a new skill in Tarja, I don't think for me personally, it was worth the price tag. However, on the flip side, over on their Instagram, I have seen a lot of people tag them saying how they've never knit before and they're trying something new and they're inspired by Tom Daly, which I think at the heart of it is what the company is about, to spread the joy of knitting to people who would never really consider it before. And I think it is awesome that Tom is using his platform to spread the joy of knitting to everyone. So if you're more of an intermediate to an advanced knitter, maybe you don't need his kits unless you know you are a big fan of Tom Daly or you just love the outcome of this sweater. But it is such a great tool to inspire your friends and loved ones or even yourself to start knitting. If the price right now is a little bit out of your range, it is definitely doable to achieve similar chunky oversized effect sweaters without using his kits. For example, I looked online and I managed to find this company that sells a very similar wool that you know has an untwisted nature, chunky and very fluffy for a fraction of the price. However, that does exclude you from the experience that Tom Daly is providing and obviously his design. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you were curious about his knit kits and was kind of on the fence on whether to buy or not, I really hope this video did help you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so and ring that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload and follow me over on Instagram at Cletus Tries Knitting. A quick question of the day, what is your favorite design that Tom Daly has released? Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys again on this channel soon. Bye.